<laughs> What's going on, guys? Gail! My name is William Clark, and welcome to a video! Yes! Another one of these videos! Ah, well, I guess. Fucking start it, so. Let's stop right now! Let's fucking party! Play more video games in our life. Ah! I don't care, stop it! Alright. What was that one you like? Where was that? Lego Star Wars. Let's play that one! Because I have no fucking money at all. Alright! So, this is gonna be a comparison to obviously the GameCube version as well as the Game Boy. Uh, if they only have. Really, the. Uh, GameCube version to compare, really. Well, no one asked you, video game, and just fell off the bed. Let's make it bright, okay, I can make it bright or not. I'm probably, probably better off not to be bright because the camera. Okay, now, the first thing you're gonna realize this has been marked into three games, you know, three episodes. Episode 1, 2, and 3. Now, the same thing happened in the GameCube version, in other versions of the game. Ah! But here you have cutscenes and shit. Um. So yeah, nego uh, the negotiating room. Now they look weird as fuck. Now also, one thing, uh, in the GameCube version and also the uh, other surrounding versions as well. Uh, you kill an enemy, you don't get anything. You might get a heart out of it. Four hearts and you're dead. Here you have... Seven. I just play this game all the fucking time. Uh, so you can use the force and whatever, you know, all these things. Now there are blue, yellow, and I believe silver. Now I, I don't know what blue is, but if it's something different. Uh, I know silver is the what you get here. And gold is yellow. That's all I know. So, yeah. Wait, did I already get that? Exactly, what am I doing? What am I doing? Now I forgot how many uh, things you can get, but you can also do what you do in uh, other games. So you press the L button to do that, and the cutscene will happen. They have some actually pretty decent voice acting, you know, the whole blast them. And you see it's, uh, studs and coins and whatever the fuck. Yeah, they're called fucking studs. Weird. Uh, but you can also... You also have a force meter as well. Now you have a lightsaber or something like a fucking spark in here or some shit, but who cares? Alright, so it looks like a cat scratching post. When you make that. Yeah, it looks like a fucking cat scratching post. Alright, so. Let's make another cat scratching post here, because I have no fucking idea why not. Now you can do that. Yeah, oh, it's right. I can kick your fucking ass. Now, let's see how the thing goes down, right? Well, in... You don't have that in the... GameCube versions and the surrounding versions. All you have is here. And so, once it goes down... You can't... You can't do that. You can't jump like a fucking idiot. And use whatever that is called. I forget what it's actually called. But you can't use that. Uh, so you have to pick your timing carefully, I believe. And, yeah. So, what else am I going to be doing? Well, I don't know. And it always looks like he's fucking whacking himself in the fucking face of the damn thing. If you're whacking yourself in the fucking face of the lightsaber, you're going to fucking die. You want to fucking die? Of course you do. You're, yeah. Uh, there's only one angle. 
Like there, it doesn't look like he's really whacking himself in the face. However, there you go. There's whack in the face. Who fuck even cares? There we go. And if you want to get some shit, just do that. Just get whatever. I can't do a double jump. Fuck. Now how can I get those? You probably can't. Shit on a stick. And that's why you gotta save a life. Let's just fucking shit on a stick all right. Now let's go and whack myself in the face. Keep whacking yourself in the face. Keep whacking yourself in the face. Like a fucking idiot you are. Okay, so. We go here. To where the cat scratching post is. That's always what I fucking thought it looked like back in the day. Uh, even when I, you know, even now, I always thought it was like somewhat a cat scratching post. Now, now where exactly, there's the droid. Now is there, okay, you collect the Death Star, I believe that is. Uh, I don't know a lot about Star Wars, so that's not the Death Star, I don't fucking know what it is. <laughs> you got that thing, what the hell is that thing? If you die, I just forgot what happened. And I guess we're about to find out. Because I suck at the game. I suck so hard at this game, if I tell you. I haven't played this game in a while. Yay! What the fuck does that do? I have no idea. Was that invincibility? So you have, to have a short hit, uh, bit of invincibility? I don't know. Um, but later on in this game, there will be a lot of stages that make it easier for you to obtain stuff. Okay, that's like a critical hit. You can basically destroy anything you want with that. There you go. Yeah, you die, and you have to go back to the beginning of whatever section you're at. This game kind of sucks, but in a way, it's what you have to deal with on the Game Boy. Uh, you know, the Game Boy Advance. I, I always have to make that specification that the Game Boy Advance this is not the Game Boy, because they don't have this game on the Game Boy, they have it on the Game Boy Advance. But you know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about the fucking, uh, you know, Game Boy and shit. Now, if I can find it, let's do the Game Boy. The Game Boy. Let's do the Game Boy. I'm already fucking playing the Game Boy version. I'm an idiot. Where? Is okay, there it is. Uh, let's play the GameCube version. Because I have nothing to do with my life and play GameCube all day. Yes, that is true. I don't do anything if I'm playing GameCube. What happened to the power of the South Under? Wait, did I? Am I an idiot? <laughs> don't answer that question, because I know the answer. Uh, are you going to... Oh, wait. Oh, I tried to... <laughs> Epic fail. I d the game is dark. Like, the actual game disc is dark as fuck. You know, it's really dark. It's a dark blue. So I couldn't see the actual game. So I thought that there was no game inside. And so I ended up trying to put Lego Star Wars on top of the Power Rangers. And I'm like, what the fuck? What, what am I doing? What are you doing? What is everybody doing? Chicken. That's what we're doing. We're doing chicken. Alright, so let's play some good old fashioned GameCube and let's see what the differences are. And which versions I prefer. Also I realized that the first version you know, the first game I played cars, I actually give a more in depth review. The rest of the games I say fuck it. I say fuck it to everything because I don't care. Power up the GameCube. Okay, so 
go! Licensed by Nintendo, you always fucking get that. Uh, Traveler Tales, did they? I don't know. But they have this, long time I'm going to get actually far, far away. And the game sounds way better. Let's load it because... Do I have to... Fuck it. New game. Uh, so you have two people you can be. Oh, that's another thing about guys mentioned. Uh, once you collect another character, I guess you press the select button to switch between the two. Uh, whereas here you do it automatically if you are pressing the, the Y button. Is it the Y button? Yes, yeah, the, the Y button. Um, here is the cantina. You can buy hints and shit. Damn, hints are expensive. Buy characters as well. You can buy a PK droid. Which I, <laughs> hilariously, I actually kind of thought at the time that uh, PK Gam somehow used to be called PK Gam because of PK droid. Yeah, but I found out that was not the case. So you get that. Oh shit, that's a lot. Of, that's a lot of gaming material here. A lot of material meant to be gained in here. Ah! So yeah, you can't really do anything. Wait. Oh yeah, you get one, two, and three, and the bonus stages, I believe. So episode one is Phantom Menace. The one that everybody seems like, why does everybody seem to hate the Phantom Menace? I don't know. I haven't seen enough Star Wars to actually give a shit. So yeah. Um, but you do have to deal with all, and yeah, it gives you more in-depth, uh, story analysis on the stage that you're playing. And if you can't skip, you can't fucking skip this. That. Alright, so you somehow, some way... Uh, I guess leave the fucking whatever. Lego people. It's all this game ever is Lego. Now, I was never really a big Star Wars fan. Never have and probably never will be. Uh, it, it's okay. It's decent. Now, what I think overall about Star Wars is, like I said, it's decent. It's not... It's not the best thing ever, like a lot of people would have you believe. But, it's okay. If you basically force me to watch it, I'll watch it, you know? It's okay. It's not the best thing in the world. It's not, it's not Doctor Who. Okay, Doctor Who's way better. I know it's not a movie, but hey. If you want some good fucking sci-fi, that's Doctor Who is it. Um, and th things are falling in the fucking ground. Do I don't care anymore. Alright, so you get a lot more studs. Obviously, the fucking graphics. I, 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 why don't I even mention this every goddamn time? The graphics are way better, the... There's more stuff to do. You don't have a, a limit to how many times you can do this. Although I do have to admit your partner is kind of useless. Ah. There you go, PK droid is dead. Alright, so you can do this and get... You can basically do anything and get fucking stood. Which is a currency in this game. How, okay, my biggest question in Star Wars. This is, this is the biggest question. How do lightsabers light up? Like, how do they work? How the fuck do they work? They're fucking swords, and they light up. This this is the biggest question I've had ever because I really don't know. You, you can do a backflip. 
kind of press the A button and kind of flip, flip back. All right, let's do this. All right, stop following me. Ah! He's like a fucking asshole. Ah! Jump up it. Ah, I can't really get that right now. I think I feel like a uh, higher character like Jar Jar Binks. Which actually... I don't really see the hate behind I mean, yeah, Jar Jar is annoying. But I, I, that's, I guess, not really a reason to hate it. You know, whatever Jar Jar is, is it a guy or a girl? I don't fucking know. But, I don't really think it's... Okay, yeah, you get this, you get, you get this canisters and whatever. Now, a lot of stuff, I mean... I believe that having a game like this Oh yeah. So you can kinda of do that kinda of like look it back. Kinda of do that, like almost like you're committing seppuku or whatever. Uh, weird. I guess it's gonna be the most obvious puzzles in the history of the whole fucking game. Things are still falling through. That's one thing I don't like about this game is that things still have to try to collect them and they basically do that. And that was a really obvious, easy puzzle. I think they would call that a puzzle because it's too easy. But it doesn't mean it was a puzzle. It wasn't. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh. But the idea behind this game was to give Lego more money, obviously. That's a good marketing ploy too, because oh yeah, X button to do shit. All right. So another thing is. You know, you have this bar right up. You can kind of see. Don't get rid of the blue. There we go. So there uh, we have a full bar. Meaning that later on we'll get something in return for that. So collect all the studs you can. Also, if you die, you actually lose studs as opposed to the last game. Okay, so you get that. And... Yeah, okay. So, uh, in addition, I don't... No! Fuck oh, damn it. Oh. Hey, don't you dare. Okay. This is where I'm going to die a lot, alright. You can replay this game at any time if you have the complete saga, but, uh... I, I'm, I would say you're better off getting the, the complete saga on, you know, other platforms like the Wii and shit like that. Uh, because there you have a whole lot more to do. You get all six parts of the game. On the Wii, it's a lot of fun actually. I love I love that game. Um, but I would say, oh, Dredicas hit this guy because they have shields. Now, which version do I prefer? This version, obviously. Uh, you know, obviously, a lot of the times I'm gonna be choosing the. Whereas the higher graphics, you know, and more high playability. Now, all of these games that I'm playing, they have a lot of high playability. They have all the playability in the world. Hey. Damn it. Yeah, you see that? This is why you don't want to get hit. Once you do that, you can disable their shield and shit, and then... Uh, oh. oh, yeah! <laughs> 
need this gad bitch slap. But I like him. Um. So yeah. I mean, it's no surprise. Uh, this is a better version. Uh, yeah. What the hell is that? I don't know. But you go here. Alright. Okay, ah, I give you more studs, that's what that does. Alright, so we'll finish this part and then that's gonna be it for this video because I love playing these games. Alright. I'm not gonna stop gaming just because people tell me to. I get to Yeah Extra thousand so we can buy more shit. Alright, so wait, do I have everything I need over here? Here, uh, that's the question. Oh, yeah, I think I did. Okay, never mind. Uh, okay, so I guess you need to have RTD2 or some sort of RTD2 like. Yeah, boom! Alright, so let's. Ow! Okay, let's put that on the top. Okay, actually, let's see if I... Aha! Yeah! There has... I knew there had to be a way to get that on the first try without, uh, fucking up somewhere. So, if you do that, any and all droids were, will be... attached to that thing. So, yeah. Alright, let's... We gotta do a team effort. Uh, what I like about this game is it's also co-op. You can have a friend come over and play this game with you. It, it, it This game brings hours of entertainment. I mean, hours. Hell, even days. If you want to spend the weekend with someone, you know, hey, what, what better game to play than this game? You know, if they're a big fan of Star Wars or Lego, or if they're just a gamer in general like I am. I'm a gamer. I don't really care much about Star Wars or Lego, but this is a great game. Uh, I highly recommend you get this game. It just brings a lot of joy and a lot of pleasure because I had a lot of epic moments while playing this game when I was younger, both on the Game Boy and on the GameCube. You know, these games that I'm playing, a lot of nostalgic memories, and I'm not going to stop playing just because whatever. So after you beat the first chapter of the first episode, you get whatever, PC-14. In other words, that's basically what's his face. Uh, not Scorpion, that's looking for combat. Super kids is what they are. Yeah! Give me that money. Oh, you. <laughs> if you go back to the diner, you can now play episode 2 and 3. So you can play this game out of order if you want. That's even better. That you can play this particular game out of order. Now, for the time being, I'm not going to be doing uh, Lego Star Wars 2. Because there's not really much to say that I hadn't already said here. Um, but, spoiler alert, with, um, Lego Star Wars 2, I prefer the newer version, you know, the GameCube version, Battle Joy, da da da, get those, get that, get that. What extras can I get? Purple! No! Okay. Silhouettes, invincibility, you know, if you have that, you can fucking do whatever. Um, sea cups, what people with sea cups, so this is fucking something that, uh, Trixie would do, but that's the best point. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys and gals. If y'all like this video, 
give this video a like if I was fine too. Uh, don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on the whole damn uh, thing. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon down below. Let's post it up. Uh, to get notified of my future uploads and live streams and whatever the fuck else that I do. And as always, guys and gals, I will see you all in the next video, whatever the fuck it is. Oh, yeah. Uh, peace out, people. And bro, huh? Boom! Need to play more GameCube games instead of Animal Crossing. <laughs>